3, Getting Started and the Boundary Tool. For this video, we're going to begin with a new blank profile, as this will help highlight how each tool works more clearly. We simply select New Profile from the left menu bar. Choose a name for our new profile. And select OK. We're now faced with a brand new profile with only the base map shown. Taxi Tuner comes with a number of keyboard shortcuts. At any time, you may click on the question mark icon at the top of the left navigation bar to view a list of these shortcuts. We'll begin with the Airport Boundary tool. Select Boundary from the tool section on the left or press the B key on the keyboard to switch to Boundary mode. Boundaries define the outside edge of an airport. You may think of it as the fence or the wall around an airport. Simply left click to designate your starting point. A small red dot will appear to signify we have started our boundary. We then may continue to click to define the airport boundary. Don't worry about perfect accuracy while creating these airport boundaries. While you may create detailed and very accurate boundaries, it's generally sufficient to merely make sure you have highlighted the general airport area. Once you've completed defining your boundary, you should have returned to the red dot at which you began. Simply click on that red dot and the boundary shape will be completed, changing from a red shade to blue. We are now in Boundary Edit mode. Along the right-hand side, we have a number of entries for the metadata of the airport, such as the airport name, the description, as well as seeing the author's name, the version of the profile, and offset details. We'll cover these offset options in a separate video much later, as this is quite an advanced feature that might cause damage to your tune profile if you use it incorrectly. So we don't recommend using these options unless strictly necessary. After editing any of these details, we may select the Update Properties option to commit them. If the Update Properties button is not clicked, any changes you made to these values will not be saved. Along the edge of our boundary, each point we created during that creation is now visible as a white coloured node. In the middle of each line, a transparent node is visible. Clicking and dragging these transparent nodes enable you to add extra nodes to the boundary shape if necessary. Join us in the next video to learn about the Runway Tool.